Race drivers, welcome to the Race Driver Coach Show. It's Enzo here with more of a personal message. Today is my birthday, 28th of October. I'm recording this at 10.53 in the morning, um, and I'll get it out to you guys straight away. Things happen on your birthday. I usually just carry on working. I'm usually on a flight somewhere. I don't really think about birthdays at all. But as I was in the gym today, because I'm actually at home, it's a Monday, which is rare, it gets you thinking when it's your birthday. Certain things come in, especially when you get to my kind of dinosaur age, or you've been here for as long as I have, should we say, word it that way. You start to reflect. You start to look at your life and understand certain things, you know, certain things come into your mind, like where I am today is a complete result of who I've been in the past. I am my future self. My belief system I've been running for years, my mental coding, the matrix that I've been running, has created this situation or this, the way I live now, the results I get, the life I've got, the, the relationships I've got, it's all been created by my previous self. Still me, but the one ages ago. And that always makes me wonder and reflect and think about other people. Straight away, whenever I'm doing my own self-development, self-reflections, uh, improving myself in some way, if I see a belief that's not helping me, I'm thinking my future self will keep my backside if I don't change this right now, I think of you guys. I think of doing these videos straight away, like, ah, oh, the, the people, the, the drivers that watch Race Drivers Club and listen to it, they'd love this. They'd love this little tip because it might just wake them up for one day, cause them to change something they're doing that's not helping, that's not getting them closer to their dreams. And today was one of them days. Honestly, it's most days. Whenever I'm in the gym, I listen to motivational videos constantly. I usually come back on fire, wired. But also, more importantly, I'm like, ah, I know what to do the next video on. I know what to do the next short on. I know what to tell the clients I've got today. So that gym session fuels me. But what came out of this one was about, it's your birthday, uh, look at where you are now, you've done really good, but would my younger self, because some people watching this could be 13, 14 years old, would that person be impressed with now? Would they look up and go, wow, that's an amazing life? And if not, it doesn't matter, don't judge, but I want you to do this for yourself, by the way, if you're not 14. Don't judge, just understand that, okay, that in a, in a younger child that was living back then is actually the true you. It's the person that's inside that you might not even have listened to for a long, long time. And when you ask that person what you think about now and how, how they saw life, you know, imagination was wild and they were playing, they were loving life, they were just doing things that they really wanted to do, they dreamt big. That's the person that I want you to talk to more often. And again, reflecting, would they be impressed with now? You know, if you say, no, actually, I'm in relationships that I shouldn't be in and I'm just putting up with them because I don't want the awkward conversation of any of them. I'm not picking up the phone to sponsors because I'm more fearful of them rejecting me or for it just not going well or me stumbling my words. I just don't know what to say. I am, I'm not talking to the race teams. I'm not going for that move on the track because I think it might not come off. Would your younger self be impressed with you? Because I promise you, if that younger self is not impressed with where you are now, your current self, which by the way, you are at the moment the youngest you're ever going to be. Remember that. So you are younger self now talking to the person who's down the road. Would your younger self be impressed? And if not, why not? What are the actions? So I'm sweating because I've literally just come back from the gym. What are the actions that you are taking now or not taking now that that person wouldn't be impressed of and it's screwing up your current life. Because I promise you, if you're not getting the results that you want to get, it's because you're just running the same old cycle. It could be a belief system. It could be the way you're viewing the world, which I call the mental balance, the balance of the mind right at the base of your brain, or should I say your psyche inside your mindset is your perspective, your belief system, your mental coding. If that is not aligned with the kind of person that you need to be to get the goals that you've got in life, you won't get it. You'll just keep dreaming, but not acting about it in the right way. You'll keep making the same mistakes. You'll talk to yourself in a negative way. Your belief system will hold you back. 
So this is my very, very messy way, as, as usual, none of these videos are scripted. This is my very messy way of saying, take a look at your life now, take a snapshot of wherever you are in racing. You could be in the F1 right now, P2 or three or one in the championship, I don't care. Take a look at where you are now. Would your future self be impressed with the way you've been behaving, been behaving lately, what you've achieved, what you've got now, how you're reacting to things? If not, I want you to ask yourself why not and what you can do about it because I don't want you to let down your future self. Again, this is the youngest you're going to be. Don't let them down because that's what you've done up to now and you're just going to keep repeating until you can't do anything about it and then regret comes in. So no matter what age you are, by the way, this is relatable. I don't care if you're not in your 40s like I am. It's understand that this week, I want you to start to change things. And it can only be small things sometimes, like a, a belief system of, instead of, I don't want to make that call because I'm, I'm, I'm worried that it won't come off. It's how many calls can I make this week? Can I be a master of cold calling, of going up to people and asking for sponsorship or just trying to talk to people within the next five days. I'm constantly telling you to challenge yourself every single week and there's a reason for this. It's because I don't want you to go through life rinse and repeating, copy and pasting the same actions and expecting something to come out of it that's different because it won't change. I promise you, you'll get 10 years down the line, same stuff, blouting the same dreams, goals, no closer. That doesn't help anyone, it doesn't help you, and it makes you sad over that time. But it's so controllable. Just by making a few new distinctions, just by having a snapshot and now looking, okay, I'm waking myself up, because that is phase one. Motivation is phase one of changing something. And I want you to change something. I don't care what it is, I want you, after this video, to, to do what I said, take a snapshot, understand what it is that you're not quite happy with. It could be external, of course, a result, actions that you're not taking, but then bring it to internal and understand why am I not taking that action? Why am I taking that action? It's not helping me, uh, sabotaging myself. And understand the coding that you're running that's causing this lifestyle that you're in now and that you're creating. There will be something that you're not happy with. I don't perform on demand very well in qualifying. I'm not, I hesitate when I'm in the cart or car. There'll be something you've got to change and I don't want you to run with it anymore because it will be ruining your life and I don't want you to think back to this video in 10 years time and think I didn't take action. I'm making the same mistakes as I did before and I'm just running over and over again. I'm making it impossible for me to succeed. That's my birthday reflection for you guys, but it is a life changer, a game changer if you take control of it, because you don't understand, none of us do, we all overlook this, that every single decision you make, which is created by the emotions that you're in, by the way, and how you see the world, which is again your matrix, everything you take, every action you take or do not take is a brick or not a brick in the house that you wanna build called happiness and each day is a contributor to that, I promise. It either takes time away from you, so it makes it impossible to achieve if you're not taking action, or if you do take an action and you get some kind of feedback, good or bad, by the way, what you want or don't, or what you don't want, because it's all good to be fair, it's feedback, that's another brick. So make them calls. Make them moves on the track. Make sure you're at your best when you're at the track and you have a good, you hold or you present a good account of yourself. All these things should be in your mind. I want you to progress. I want your future self to be so impressed with what you did now and not regretful. What can you do today that will make your future self proud of when you finished watching this video?